Hi, it's the Rossum Vegan Gal here, and today I have some products from a company called Edward and & Sons, and I want to thank everyone there for all their efforts in getting me the product so I can do this review, and I've done other reviews for them, and I will have a link below this video to their website so you can check out all the products that they offer. And today I'm going to be mentioning the products and uh, telling you about them, and in the follow-up video I will actually be doing some recipes with them, and they have some new, very unique products and I always try to find ways to create wonderful recipes with them and they as well have recipes you can get on their website for their products so um, I'm not going to talk much about the company uh, here because I've done that in previous videos but they are uh, just so you know they, they are a family of brands they have all different types of brands and the brands I have here today are Let's Do Organic and Native Forest and some of the products that I'm going to be using are for the actually recipes so They've already been used in the previous video. And um, they call their tagline is convenience without compromise. They've been around since 1978. Uh, most of their products are gluten-free, soy-free, dairy-free, and kosher. Um, a lot of them are certified organic as well. They don't use any artificial ingredients in their products. And also here is their brochure with a bunch of all the different types of products that they carry. And so the ones I'm going to feature today are interesting. Their newest one that came out. Uh, is their organic young jackfruit and um, it comes in different ways it comes um, in a can and it also comes in these boxes I'm going to show those to you here and then show you the other products as well and so the two I'm going to show you those to you right now is they have two different ones they're a seven ounce box they have the unseasoned pieces and if you've never seen jackfruit this is what the fruit looks like and that's cut open and these are all certified kosher, gluten-free, vegan, and USDA organic. Uh, they don't use sauce in it, it's just a plain jackfruit. And uh, can be used for different things, burgers, stews, etc. And it does need to be cooked, just so you know. And it's a product of India, it needs to be refrigerated after opening. And it says to discard the unused portion after four days. I imagine maybe it gets spoiled or something, that's why they don't want you to use it after four days. Um, let's see what else I can tell you. Um, about jackfruit, it's native to southern India. Um, while mature, it says while mature jackfruit is sweet and fragrant, young jackfruit is not sweet at all. It's picked before it starts ch changes to sugar. Um, so that's why it can be used kind of as a, I guess, a, like a meat type substitute. Um, let's see what else. We pack them into shelf stable packages without any added ingredients. And then you can use your own seasoning on them. The uh, pieces easily flake into ideal texture for like meatless dishes and things like that. And then the other one I have is their uh, unseasoned shredded jackfruit. Again, meatless uh, alternative, also seven ounces. And I have never opened these up to see what they look like. So I am gonna open this just to show you what it looks like in the, bo in the box. And like I said, it also does come in a can as well. And I'll tell you about that in a moment. First, let me open up this box. <laughs> to show you because it's hard to see the product when it's it's not um... oh so it comes I, I can't even show it to you actually <laughs> that's a surprise for me surprise it comes in a bag like this so I don't actually I can't even actually show it to you what it looks like because once I open it, it has to be used and I'm not actually going to make anything with it so um so that is that then I can't show it to you but they're just showing you a picture of it so um, that's just the way it goes. I, uh, I'll show, I guess I'll show it to you in the video when I make the recipes. So, um, that's, that's what happens with live videos, right? And then the other one they have is in their can, a 7.9 ounce. Um, it's from native, it's from the native forest, uh, brand. Um, and that's from Sri Lanka, that one actually. So, let me see what else. Also, it's wheat free if I didn't mention. Um, and then I have some other canned fruits and vegetables, but those I've done before. Those are just going to be used for the, for the uh, recipes I'm going to be making. The other products I have that are interesting and new are some of their more, more of their coconut products. They have a lot of coconut, different types of coconut products that they uh, sell. And I'm going to talk about some of them here. So first I also have their shredded, Organic shredded coconut. This is unsweetened, no added sulfites, organic, gluten free, 40% less fat than the regular coconut. Comes in an 8.8 .8 ounce size. And this is nice for just about anything, in my opinion. I love anything that's coconut. This is also from Sri Lanka. 
you know, you could sprinkle it on your on your salad. You could add it, you know, as a topping, you know, to anything you could really think of. It's really uh, because it has no real like a flavor to it. It's also kosher in case I didn't mention that certified kosher. Um, you know, you make a dessert. I mean, you could use it for savory or sweet. You could make it for little treats. You could add it on top. Um, so this is dried. Uh, it's it's the coconut meat's actually dried. That's how they make it. So that's what that's what it looks like. So that I'll be using in the uh, in the video next for next week. Um, the other coconut products that they have are their creamed coconut, which is unsweetened. It comes here uh, as well. But this is interesting. It comes in a bag that you can actually see through. And it, and it actually has a little separation to it, but there's nothing wrong with it. That's just the, uh, the fat separated. And it's also USA Organic. It's a, it's a replacement for dairy or coconut milk and sauces, curry smoothies, and more. And let me see what else I can tell you. Kosher, vegan, gluten-free, all that. It's good for sauces and stews. Uh, diluted, you can pour it over fresh fruit to make a treat. Or add it with frozen fruit for tropical smoothies. Um, it, it will harden in cool temperatures, so say you just put it in hot water. And with closed, refrigerate, closed tightly refrigerate after opening. Um, does not say how long it'll last once you open it on this one, so I'm not quite sure. But this is a 7-ounce uh, package as well. The other coconut products I have are the... Um, Two different interesting coconut products are the organic, to fair trade, certified organic, non-GMO project verified, uh, also you see organic, uh, it's a coconut milk unsweetened, also kosher, and it comes in a 13.5 ounce can, and um, this is a product of the Philippines. So, you know, coconut is used in a lot of different cuisines, um, and they decided to do this fair trade they have a fair trade sustainability alliance, so they get fair compensation to the farmers and also respect the environment. Um, so that's very good that they're doing that. So that's why that's a new thing that they're, they added. Um, of course, they don't use any genetically modified ingredients, nothing like that. And uh, again, this, this is a product where you open it after you use it. You want to use it within four days after you refrigerate it. And it separates and solidifies in cold. When this happens, just put it in a bowl of hot water. As milk softens, stir to to restore its consistency, or you can just mix it. I would just mix it with a spoon. Um, so again, this can be used also in many different ways. And um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be using all the products in the in the next video, but I just wanted to introduce these to you. It is also gluten free. And then the other coconut product is their organic heavy coconut cream. It also comes in a can, kosher certified, organic, gluten free, vegan, all the good stuff. Thirty percent. Coconut fat. It's good for whipped cream, sauces, desserts, and more. The can is a 13.5 ounce size. And what they do is they press the coconut with just a little filtered water and achieve the 30% fat. It's also good, they say, for coffee, soup, sauces, etc. Um, and they tell you how to make the uh, whipped cream. Um, you refrigerate it overnight before opening, so that's interesting. Then you scoop it into a cold mixing bowl and discard the remaining liquid with the sauce. Solid cream with a chilled beater until light and fluffy. I don't have that, so I maybe won't use it that way. It doesn't have any guar or other additives. It's just the pure coconut and filtered water. Um, so because of that, separation of the cream is normal. To reverse the separation, again, they say put it in the water. Again, you would store this once it's opened. Um, you would store it in the refrigerator and use it within four days. And this is a product of Sri Lanka. So we'll see how I'm going to do that. I don't know if I'll use it as a whipped cream because I don't have you know, that kind of equipment. So I may just use it uh, some, some other way. Um, okay, and then what I have too is another interesting product. Is their organic arrow root starch powder. And this is from their Let's Do Organic line. Whereas their, um, and their, their coconut, uh, this one was also from Let's Do Organic. And uh, this one as well. Like I said, they have a family of brands that they carry. So what's the benefit of arrowroot? It's, it's a starch that you could use for thickening. It's also good for pie fillings, and it's also gluten-free, vegan, kosher, non-GMO, organic, certified, kosher powder. So it's um, a, a gluten-free starch, good for thickening and baking. And um, I've used it for even thickening like a sauce. It's native to South American Caribbean. It was first cultivated by the Arawak Indians. Interesting name. I never knew about that. 
they developed a water wash and seeding method of extracting it, and that's to what, similar to what we use today. Um, it's prized as a dietary staple and medicinal plant. It can also be, it was applied to wounds and insect bites to draw toxins. I never knew that. Um, also, it's used um, in baby biscuits, moms use it for cereals. And it's very versatile in, in using it, and it doesn't have a, a need for uh, refrigeration because it, um, it's just a powder. So, and it lasts quite long. So, I'm going to be using this in something for the, for the video as well with all these other products. So that's basically the other ones. It's just for display. I have the mandarin oranges, the water chestnuts, and the pineapple chunks. And I will also link the other videos below this because I think I have about four or others at least that you could check them all out because they have lots of wonderful products and you should definitely look into um, using them because they're really good, qual high quality, and uh, can can really benefit you, add you know for your health. And um, if you want to also especially substitute dairy, you don't use dairy, coconut's a great alternative for that. And I hope you will uh, check them out and look for the follow-up video with the recipes. And I thank you for watching. It's the Rossum Vegan Gal.